Alright guys, what's going on? Shells here, and today we'll be reviewing Black Ops 4 now. It's been out nearly two months now, so I think it's a good time to, you know, sit down and try to figure out where this game is going and how it is done so far. But I think so far, I'm, I'm actually really happy with Black Ops 4. I was a little nervous after the beta, to be honest, but it's really proven to actually be a really, really good game. So we're going to start off with, obviously I'm going to come back to Blackout later on, but we're going to start with multiplayer. And get it off the back. Actually, now let's start with zombies. I feel like zombies is an interesting. One. Okay, first off, zombies really quick. I'm not a big zombies player, but I really enjoyed zombies this year. I think the new Rush zombies came out is absolutely fantastic. Great job by Charge there. Fantastic props to them. I really enjoyed zombies maps. It's just, you know great for a chill out. I'm not big into Easter eggs. So I can't really talk on that, but I hear they're ready to be pretty good from people and my friends who do enjoy that stuff. So very good job by that on the zombies. But let's move on to multiplayer. The stuff that I actually play in the game, so I can give you guys the actual proper you know, not visualization, but kind of just what I think of the uh, title. So, starting off with multiplayer, I think the first thing you talk about, let's talk about weapons, 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 weapons. Obviously, the, the most important part of any, you know, first person shooter, or any type of shooter game for that matter, is of course, what weapons you get. So, for me, I think the weapons are pretty good this season. You know, I don't think there's a... Okay, maybe the ice is a little dominant rather than things, but they're gonna fix that, you know, in the next few weeks. But so far, I'd give. I think it's. I think the weapons are pretty good. I like the weapon balance. I like the difference in, you know, each feel individual. None of them feel kind of like the same, and I think that's a good, important thing to see in a game. I think that's, you know, what I as a as a player wants to see. So. I think that's good to see. Sorry, I thought I heard footsteps there. I think that's good. For, uh, I think it's good for the game. I think it's good for people who want to play the game. I think it's good for for all range of things. So I'm I'm very happy that they've they've got the weapon balance right. I think they can, you know, I definitely there's a few things they can like finish off and polish up. I think that's definitely something that they can do a bit better. But I think we'll see that. I you know it's we're still learning the game cycle. I think we'll definitely see things change as the the cycle goes on. Maps wise, let's talk about maps. So maps let's have a look let's start with the old maps they brought it back in i think that the old maps um good to see them back i think it's for me i i enjoy seeing them i'm very happy to see them make a return so i'm definitely happy that they did that it's obviously i think some people might be against that some people might be like they're in the past but i think that's kind of always been activation strategy is to bring all maps back because people seem to enjoy them so, I think there's a few maps that definitely need work for, you know, the non competitive types. Like Contraband, for example, that's a great hard point map. But dear Lord, it is a atrocious map for, like, team that match, kill confirmed, and other things like that. It's just too big. I think that's one of the biggest issues that they got wrong. I think that's more like a map you... Like, if that was a Grand War, would it be good? Probably a lot better, but it's not. It's 5v5, so... Yeah, that's something they need to change, I think, in the, uh, the future. Anyway, um... Let me quickly change this around. But I think there's definitely a lot of positives to be, you know, we're going to see this year. I think definitely a lot better. I think they've done a really good job with the game this season. I'm very happy with the maps. I think the maps, the old maps, you know, they fit in nicely with the new map, especially for the competitive aspect of the game. So I think that that's a good thing to see. So hopefully we'll get a bit more, um, of that as we see in the future but you know right now i'm pretty i think the maps are pretty good you know do i think one or two of them are a little poor yes but i think that's every game you kind of you can kind of nitpick on certain maps like we've played call of g for like i think we for 10 years as well like an average of 15 maps 150 maps i've played you know am i going to spot things maybe i didn't spot you know when i played you know out four and world at war for the first time yeah i think so i think there's definitely it's always gonna be maps that have things wrong with them like Last year's World of War was, was ridiculed for the maps, but I thought the maps were actually quite good, so... Yeah, I think it's a bit... Um, ridiculous, but... I don't think there's too much wrong with them. That's just my opinion. I think they're actually... I think they're they're pretty good. They're better than last year's, I think. Well, will they be better than last Yeah, they're definitely better than last year's. Definitely better than last year's, for sure. Anyway, the one issue I have with multiplayer that I'm going to mention this right now, I think everything, you know, the weapons, maps, game modes, uh, I think... Need to mention is the lack of league play is a little bit annoying. I think that's definitely a 
an issue that needs to be fixed in the I think in December it's gonna come in. I think it's gonna come to MLG Vega starts, so hopefully we'll get some we'll finally get some actual clarification on what's actually happening then, but it's a bit disappointing that they haven't addressed that yet. I think it's obviously I as a competitive player like to see that, but you know, it's definitely good to see. You know, other things I actually forgot to mention, 150 health and they use the stim pack shot. I actually really like that. Hate it in the beta, but it's actually been a uh I'm actually very happy with it. I think it's a good uh addition to the uh to the game. I think that's it, it's what the game needs, I feel. Like that's my personal I think it needs it. I think the stim shots can be interesting to see how the pros use that. I obviously I'm not really sure what the up uh, what the number one meta is, but I guess the pros will have that down and they'll show us something we haven't seen before. Specials and specials are good. I know some people really dislike them, but I think they're actually I think they're Pretty fairly balanced to be honest. I think they, you know, they, there seems to be a counter to each one of them, which I, I think is needed, and that's a good it's good to see. But anything else I see about them, not really. I think they're just kind of they're some of them are annoying, but like I, I understand why. Like in the competitive scene, like the barricade's perfect, but in the, the pub scene, it's just it's not good enough. But yeah, I think that that's pretty much covers everything. Multiplayer, anything else that needs to be addressed? I don't think so. Anything else that you guys want to add, ask about multiplayer? Leave it in the comments below and I can probably get back to you. But I think it's it's pretty, you know, pretty weird. You know, it's, it's a fantastic show on multiplayer. Like, I, I can't, there's not much I can complain about. There's obviously a few, like, little issues that are, like, you know, errors in, like, searching the story code and stuff like that, engineer, not putting up trophy systems like that, that's obviously a bit frustrating, but I feel like Treyarch will sweat that out, you know, weapon balance, as I said, I think you'll get, you know, I think Treyarch will, will keep working the game. That's what, that's me about the blackout. This is a game I, I think Treyarch have absolutely nailed. I think they've hit the nail on the head here when it comes to what people are looking for. They've hit the need, like, there's, there's, like, a definite niche spot here for a game like this. I think... You look at PUBG H1, haven't quite got like the the gameplay this has. I think you look at Fortnite, Fortnite's kind of just, you know, it's been there and it's doing incredibly well. But I think this is legit probably the best contender take on Fortnite. You know, I can't see anything else that someone can say to me, oh, this, this Battle Royale is going to take on Fortnite because I just, I can't see it right now. I think this, this is the game that has the best chance to take Fortnite on, you know, give Fortnite some, you know, make Fortnite ask some questions. I think that, I think anyone else thinks that otherwise, you know, I think you need to really seriously examine what's happening because if you don't think that, you're deluded. So, it's definitely the best one. Like, I, I can't see anyone else. I think they've done a really good job here. You know, PUBG has great, you know, it's a great team concept. H1 was, was the game. It wasn't first person though, which I think was a big issue. Um, what this what blackout does perfectly is it's you know it's pulls you gameplay in a battle royale i think that's exactly what they've nailed i don't know how they got 60 frames on console fair play to them whoever did but that's quite an achievement so i've got to give credit for that but whoever did that you know they've done a lot of work in this they've obviously i think they've obviously put you know put their ducks in a row and, and betted betted quite big on this so they pretty much nailed it and I disliked the Black Ops beta when it came out. I thought it was a little I wasn't very impressed by it, but as I played it this this version of the bat perfect. Now I think the biggest thing Treyarch needs to do in the next in the next distant while is make sure that they get it right. Like you cannot afford just to keep black like this. You gotta update the map, keep things updated, have events, you know, I think stuff like look at the key event in Fortnite. You need things to keep it interesting. If you don't, people are gonna get bored. You know, people get bored, they move on. And that's a you know, a player you potentially lose for good. So they need to keep the community interested in the game. I think they will do that to the best of their ability. I think Von Hart will have something, you know, drawn up for how he wants to have the game done. I think that's important to see. I think if they don't do that, they'll be I think they'll end up kicking themselves and realise that they just messed up this entire this entire year, but I can't see them messing it up. They've got an absolute. There's no way in my head that they'll. I think they'll definitely have something, something drawn up to, to keep interesting. If they don't, it would be it would be an absolute mind blowing. I'd be stunned if they don't. Then again, uh, game companies do 
sometimes let their ego get the better of them and that could of course happen here again hopefully it doesn't though because i'm disappointed if that happens it would be a bit annoying but it does happen ozu operator interesting i've never seen that before but yeah so unfortunately here we've had no real action in this one but i think that's covered all the areas that i wanted to cover i don't think there's anything else we can we can make mention of i think everything is pretty much covered you know look at multiplayer weapons modes perks are all good there's no real issue my only issues with the league play of course i'd like to see some lads because i'm a competitive type player now but you know, i'm pretty i'm pretty happy with everything in this game i think they've nailed zombies they've done a great job with zombies you know even for someone who doesn't play zombies too much i really enjoy it this year so oh wow i mind. i really enjoy it so it's good to see but you know you look at other you know i think multiplayer nailed it did a fantastic job on that great to see so they've really made a competitive game i'm looking forward to seeing the pros play it most of all i think they've done a perfect job with blackout so yeah i think i'm it's a fantastic job this game. I think it's got a bright future. It's going to be a good year for it. I think it all comes down to what I think. Be advised, I think Blackout does need to to, to be a big part of it, but I'm I'm pretty convinced it will be. I'd be stunned if it isn't. It'd be disappointing if it doesn't make you know a big a big dent in things. But I'd be stunned if it doesn't really, to be honest. But who knows? We'll have to see what happens this year. I think Blackout will have tournaments. I think he'll definitely have stuff with big streamers involved in it. Maybe not like a Fortnite Winter Royale, but you know, something close to that I think will be will be much needed. Anyway, I'm wrapping up here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.